Parallax is a super cool scrolling technique to create the illusion of depth and movement in your presentations. Stay and learn how to do it. This is Rod. Welcome to Burn to Learn. To give a different look to your presentations, this effect can combine backgrounds and foregrounds to move them at different times, simulating a website effect. First, let's create our presentation. Open a new blank slide and add an image that you previously downloaded. Go to Insert, then Pictures, and select where you want to upload your pictures from. Larger pictures are always better. We're using a 1280 by 720 pixel image, so this will cover the whole slide. This image will be the background in the effect. To add our text, First, we select a shape on Insert, then Add Shape. Now go up to the Insert bar and then click on Text Box. Let's drag it into our slide and write the text we're going to use. We don't want a solid color, so I want to make it more transparent. The background image is now ready. Usually, we will add a new slide to put more information into the presentation. But since we're doing a parallax effect, we're going to work all of our information in just one slide. Let's add a shape that will work as a second layer that will come up while the background image is going down. Let's do this. Go to Insert, then click on Shapes and select a rectangle. Drag it into the slide. Then on Format Shape, remove the outline by going to Shape Outline and click on No Outline. You can change the color of the shape if you want. Remember to be sure the shape is as big as needed to cover the whole slide. Once done, we're just going to put it down at the bottom of the slide. Next, we will work on this shape by adding text, images, and icons. We do all this by going to the insert bar as we did previously. Make sure we have these elements all aligned to give them a professional look. Now that our presentation is ready, let's make the parallax happen. First, select the shape and the text or images you added to it. Then right click and then click on group. This way, it will be easier to animate them all. Now go to the Animations bar and click on Add Animations and go down to More Motion Paths to click on the motion path called Up. Now just click on the red bubble to adjust the animation. If you hold the Shift key while adjusting, it will be easier to make a straight path for the animation. Finally, we're going to animate the background picture. Click on it and go to Animations, and click on Add Animation. Now go down and click the More Motion Paths option and search the Down Animation so the background picture goes down as the shape comes up. Go up in the Format bar to the Timing section and select to start with Previous. Click on the preview mode to check if all is right, and it is. Looking for more advanced tips on PowerPoint? Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and wait for our next one.